Hello, and thank you for your interest in the Administrator Fellowship at the University of Texas Medical Branch. This presentation will provide information regarding UTMB Health and the Administrator Fellowship Program at UTMB. My name is Michael Rape, and I am the current Administrator Fellow at UTMB Health for 2014 to 2015. I obtained both my undergraduate degree and my Master of Health Services Administration from the University of Central Florida. And my name is Mai Hong, and I am the 2013-2014 Administrative Fellow. I currently serve as a Senior Management Analyst. During this presentation, we will discuss UTMB's organizational history, structure, and some of the future initiatives this organization is pursuing. We will also cover the Administrative Fellowship structure, preceptor, and the various types of projects Fellows have the opportunity to be involved in. UTMB has had over 35 successful Fellows and some of the executives and directors are former fellows from various institutions. We are also in a time of rebuilding and growth, allowing the fellow an opportunity to work on a variety of projects. Fellows will have continuous exposure to the executive team and the opportunity to network with Texas Medical Center fellows. There are two major industries in Galveston, tourism and healthcare. The summers are the Busiest times for both, patient volumes typically peak from June to August. UTMB is located 40 minutes outside of Houston, so employees are able to experience both island and city life. Galveston is also home to 32 miles of beaches and numerous events and festivals, such as the largest Mardi Gras celebration in Texas. UTMB is comprised of four schools and home to the state's first medical school, which is currently one of the largest in Texas. UTMB receives about $200 million in grants and contracts for research purposes. The Galveston National Lab, one of two biosafety level four labs in the United States, has allowed UTMB to place an emphasis on integrating research into patient care. At UTMB Health, we use a three-pronged approach to advance patient care. Through the use of technology, research, and innovative models of care, we are able to improve health outcomes for the population we serve. We are also designated as one of three level one trauma centers in the Houston metro area. UTMB has an extensive telemedicine program used for research and patient care. This allows us to provide care to patients at correctional facilities throughout Texas, on cruise ships, in Antarctica, and at community clinics for the underserved. As the region two anchor for the Medicaid 1115 waiver, we help support the establishment of regional healthcare partnerships to improve health organizations' ability to meet community needs. UTMB is truly a regional care provider. We have a multitude of outpatient specialty and primary care clinics in Galveston and the Bay Area. We have a large network of telemedicine centers throughout Texas and provide care for two-thirds of the state's correctional facilities. UTMB is also a member of the Texas Medical Center, so our fellows have the opportunity to interact with other fellows in the area. One very unique attribute of UTMB is that we are home to Hospital Galveston, the only hospital in the nation that is focused solely on offender care. Our economies of scale combined with advanced telemedicine allows us to provide an extremely efficient model of care, resulting in more than a dollar less per offender per month making us the most cost-effective in the nation. In September of 2008, Hurricane Ike caused $1.2 billion in damages to our facilities. Though devastating, it created an opportunity for UTMB to pursue a new path to healthcare delivery by allowing the organization to reassess and redesign our system based on market need. Additionally, UTMB is continuously working to storm-proof facilities and currently undergoing $1.8 billion in campus revitalization. After Hurricane Ike, UTMB began growth strategies for delivering care to the mainland. This map illustrates the numerous clinics that have opened since May 2010. Not only are we expanding outpatient services, we are also improving our inpatient services to better provide comprehensive care in a patient-centered facility. UTMB is constructing the new clinical services wing and the Jenny Sealy Hospital. The hospital will have 310 patient rooms, including 54 highly advanced ICUs, and 20 state-of-the-art operating suites. 
Since the hospital is scheduled to open in 2016, it provides an opportunity for the fellow to participate in planning. The entire Jenny Silly Hospital will be stormproof. All of the productive areas will be located at least 25 feet above sea levels and utilities will be on the upper floors. The fellowship at UTMB is a year-long program, which will begin in the summer of 2015. The administrator fellow participates in the day-to-day -day health system operations and works closely with an accomplished senior leadership team on a wide array of projects and initiatives. Mentorship is a strong component of our program. Fellows have significant exposure to the executive team and are expected to attend and participate in weekly executive meetings, health system executive retreats, and project work with executives. Additionally, the fellows office is located in the administrative suite, which provides them access to the executive team on a daily basis. To foster the development of the fellows, UTMB allows for travel to various conferences and meetings. The fellow has the opportunity to attend ACHE Congress and many other educational conferences that will help them distinguish themselves as a future healthcare leader. Deborah McGrew, one of the preceptors, is the Vice President and Chief Operating Officer at UTMB. Prior to joining UTMB, Ms. McGrew was the Associate Vice President at the University of Alabama at Birmingham Hospital, also known as UAB. Prior to her work at UAB, Ms. McGrew was Administrative Director of Transplant Services at the University of Wisconsin Hospitals and Clinics, also known as UWHC. Emily Blumberg serves as the program sponsor and meets with the fellow bi-weekly to help facilitate operational projects. Ms. Blumberg is a former fellow at a different institution, allowing her to understand needs and expectations of a fellowship. Before UTMB, Ms. Blumberg served as the Director of Business Development at the University of Wisconsin and Senior Management Analyst at Baylor College of Medicine. On this slide is a screenshot of some of the projects I have been working on during my fellowship experience thus far. Throughout this year, I plan to learn as much as possible while helping to move the organization forward. This slide is a list of projects I had the opportunity to work on during my fellowship year. In order to apply for this fellowship, a complete application packet must be submitted by September 19, 2014. The packet should include a resume, cover letter, official graduate transcript, three letters of recommendation, and a personal statement. We will review the applications after the September deadline and conduct phone interviews towards the end of September and have on-site interviews in mid-October. For more information, please visit www.utmb.edu forward slash administrative fellowship. This concludes our presentation. If you have any questions, please forward them to m-i-r-a-p-e at utmb.edu or call 409-772-4249. Thank you for your interest in the Administrative Fellowship at UTMB. UTMB Health, working together to work wonders.